Now let us see the evaluation of the ground state energy of hydrogen atom using the variational method. That is the ground state of hydrogen atom. So first of all we will have to identify a trial work function that will be most suitable to represent the hydrogen atom in the ground state. For that we consider the properties of this work function representing the hydrogen atom. As you know hydrogen atom consists of a nucleus having one unit positive charge and the electron is revolving around the nucleus in a spherically symmetrical orbit. So there is no node for the work function. The probability will be maximum in the region in space around the nucleus at a particular distance, maybe at a particular distance, that is an adjustable parameter. We already know that it is nothing other than the Bohr radius or it is closer to the Bohr radius. As the separation or the distance from the nucleus increases, the probability will be very small. It reaches a maximum at around the Bohr radius and after that this will be further falling for a further increase of the radial distance. So around a distance parameter say A, this probability is supposed to be maximum. On either side of this fixed parameter, this probability will be exponentially falling and it will definitely vanish at a distance that is infinity. So the work function must vanish as r tends to infinity. Then definitely an exponential work function will be most suitable to represent such a system. Under this assumption, let me take the ground state work function or the trial work function for the problem as a e power exponent minus r divided by a where r is the radial distance and a is the adjustable parameter that we are going to set. Keep in mind I have uh, taken a normalization in the case of linear harmonic oscillator. So let me do not repeat it here. I am considering this as a non-normalized work function so that in the Rayleigh Ritz formula I will have to account for the denominator or I will have to account for the normalization of the trial work function in the denominator. If you are interested you can normalize it here itself by putting a constant and uh, applying the normalization condition scalar product over the entire volume integral equal to 1. For the time being I am considering this problem with a non-normalized work function e power minus r by a. Now we will have to evaluate the ground state energy using the Rayleigh Ritz formula. E0 of A equal to scalar product psi H psi divided by scalar product psi with psi. Where H is the Hamiltonian as usual it is minus H bar square by 2m del square plus potential energy of the hydrogen atom in let me write it in CGS unit so that I can take 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 as 1. Now charge of the nucleus one unit positive charge into charge of electron one unit negative charge overall I will have a minus sign here minus E square divided by separation R. Now let me evaluate the denominator first of all scalar product psi psi that is equal to volume integral E power minus R by A into E power minus R by A d tau. Here uh, of course because of the spherical symmetry of the problem we will consider the problem in SPC spherical harmonic coordinate system where the volume integral is r square sin theta dr d theta d phi. However this integral term has only radial dependence so that we can separate this into radial azimuthal and zenith angle terms. Integral from 0 to infinity minus infinity to infinity changes to 0 to infinity e power minus 2r by a r square dr integral 0 to pi sin theta d theta integral 0 to 2 pi d phi. You have evaluated these integrals several times. Integral 0 to 2 pi d phi is 2 pi. Integral 0 to pi sin theta that is minus cos theta minus cos theta in the limit say 0 to pi. 
make it say minus cos pi which is minus minus 1 make it plus 1 minus is already here I have to put a minus further that becomes say make it plus cos 0 which is 1 so 1 plus 1 2 in the subsequent problems as well we will be making use of these terms so now onwards I will be writing this 2 and this as a 2 pi now to evaluate this integral you make use of this standard integral 0 to infinity x raised to n e raised to minus a x dx is n factorial over a power n plus 1 where a is the coefficient of minus x in the exponent term and n is the power of the x term then this becomes 2 pi into 2 that comes from these integrals here x power 2 corresponds to r square so n is 2 2 factorial divided by coefficient of minus x is a in the standard integral here instead of uh, x i have say r so coefficient of minus r is 2 by a so i have to account for 2 by a power n plus 1 n is 2 so 2 plus 1 3 that make it say 2 cube is in the denominator and the numerator also I can have 8 2 factorial is 2 itself so 8 vanishes what remains is pi a cube if you are putting a normalization you will get the normalization constant as a 1 by root pi a cube this corresponds to say the normalization term you have to equate to say this one into normalization uh, normalization constant square equal to 1 so that normalization constant a will be equal to 1 by root pi a cube so a if you are following a different step with a normalized verb function you will get the normalization constant as a 1 by square root of pi a cube now the expression for energy then becomes 1 by pi a cube that is the denominator expectation e raised to minus r by a minus h bar square by 2m del square minus e square by r e power minus r by a clearly we can split this into the sum of the kinetic energy term and potential energy term in kinetic energy term we will have to account for the expectation of this one and in potential energy term we will have to account for the expectation of minus e square divided by r so for the sake of simplicity we will take these two terms separately potential energy term is yeah minus i have taken out minus e square by r minus is uh, taken out of this uh, expectation psi e square by r psi e square is also a constant so e square is taken out minus e square integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus r by a into e raised to minus r by a see the work function is homogeneous in space term so we just have to multiply this by means of the zenith angle integral and the azimuthal angle integral integral e raised to minus 2r by a r square come from the volume element r square sin theta dr d theta d phi divided by r is there so one r will be vanishing this integral is 2 this we have already seen it is 2 pi 2 into 2 pi minus 4 pi e square is written here this integral is n factorial n happens to be say 1 because r will be vanishing here so n factorial is 1 divided by the coefficient of minus r in the exponent is 2 by a so 2 by a whole square make this term as a a square comes to numerator 2 square vanish with 4 minus pi e square a square now we have to evaluate the kinetic energy term uh, while using the expression for kinetic energy directly there is a chance for a misleading interpretation in the case of those verb functions whose uh, complex notation complex uh, term and the verb function itself are exactly identical in that kind of occasions we make use of a decomposition like this that is being written here minus h bar square by 2m is taken out i have to account for scalar product psi del square psi Scalar product psi del square psi is integral 0 to infinity psi star del square psi volume element. Now we evaluate this integral using product rule of integration. First function psi star into integral second. Integral del square is grad psi. The limit 0 to infinity minus integral of differential of first that is grad psi star into integral second. Integral del square is grad psi d q bar and upon applying this limit say psi star grad psi at infinity is 0 
psi star grad psi at 0 is also 0. So this term will be going. Then this becomes equal equivalent to minus integral grad psi star grad psi d cube r. Then here this becomes you have you already have minus h bar square by 2m. We will have to substitute this quantity as identical with minus integral grad psi star dot uh, grad psi d cube r or d cube r account for the volume element. Overall that make this term say positive that is being written here minus h bar square by 2m minus integral grad psi star dot grad psi d cube bar. Make it say plus h bar square by 2m integral grad psi star dot grad psi d cube r. Otherwise if oh, I have been following a direct procedure by substituting psi in this step itself I will be getting a value that is equal to say 0. So let me make use of this decomposition here and it's a valid assumption whenever you come across this kind of uh, function having the quality that I have already mentioned. Then this becomes h bar square by 2m grad psi star dot grad psi. Grad has the meaning of d by dr in this context because psi is already homogeneous in the radial term. Integral 0 to infinity d by dr of psi star is e raised to minus r by a itself into grad psi d by dr of e raised to minus r by a itself into volume element will contribute r square dr to this integrand and integral 0 to pi sin theta d theta is there i have forgotten to write this d theta here and integral 0 to 2 pi d pi this make 2 into 2 pi 4 pi is written here h bar square by 2m integral 0 to infinity derivative of e raised to minus r by a is e raised to minus r by a into minus 1 by a same term is therefore grad psi as well because psi is purely real then overall this becomes e raised to minus 2 r by a into minus 1 by a into minus 1 by a that is plus 1 by a square r square dr so 4 pi h bar square by 2m is repeated 1 by a square is taken out as a is constant integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus 2 r by a r square dr. Here we will apply again the result n factorial that is 2 factorial which is 2 1 into 2 2 divided by a power n plus 1 a instead of a I have 2 by a here so 2 by a whole power n plus 1 n is 2 so 2 power 2 by a power 3 now we have to make a simplification for this term that becomes 4 pi h bar square by 2 m a square 2 divided by 2 by a cube in the numerator i can have 2 into 4 8 in the denominator there is 2 cube so 2 cube vanishes with 4 into 2 this term goes what remains is yeah, a square will be vanishing with a cube here a comes to numerator pi h cross square a divided by 2m will be the value of this term. So we combine the kinetic energy term this one pi h cross square a by 2m and potential energy term minus pi e square a square in order to obtain the uh, expression for ground state energy in terms of the adjustable parameter a. Now we will realize that this is nothing other than the Bohr radius very shortly. So we have substituted kinetic energy term plus potential energy term divided by pi a cube normalization. So pi a and pi a cube will be vanishing for this term. Pi a square and pi a cube will be vanishing for this term. What remains for the first term is h cross square divided by 2m a square and for this term pi a square goes what remains is e square divided by a. Now apply the minimization dou e0 by dou a equal to 0 that is h bar square by 2m into derivative of 1 by a square is minus 2 by a cube minus e square into derivative of 1 by a is minus 1 by a square that is equal to 0. That means minus h bar square by m a cube plus e square by a square equal to 0 or I require a so we take the negative term to the right side e square equal to h bar square by ma or a equal to h bar square by me square which is nothing other than the Bohr radius having a value equal to 0 
angstrom once you substitute these values of h cross m mass of electron and charge of electron so this give us an evaluation of the adjustable parameter that we have introduced in the language of variational method and it is quite astonishing to see that this is nothing other than the Bohr radius. Now substitute this value of A in the expression for the ground state energy in terms of A we obtain E0 of A apologies for this variable say alpha it is actually A I meant h bar square by 2m into a square is h bar square by m e square all square minus e square by a that is e square by h bar square by m e square now h bar square will be vanishing with the h bar square all square term however there will be one h cross square in the denominator remaining m also vanishes one m also vanishes 2 will be there in the denominator so this becomes m e power 4 divided by 2 m 2 h cross square m also vanish with this one and this becomes m e square into e square m e power 4 divided by h cross square that is m e power 4 by h cross square into half minus 1 that is minus m e power 4 by 2 h cross square this in cgs unit is clearly the ground state energy of hydrogen atom once you substitute these values you can evaluate this to be say minus 13.6 electron volt so here also we obtain an exact evaluation of the ground state energy of hydrogen atom using the variational method now we make a substitution of the value of the adjustable parameter a in the expression for verb function that will give us the expression for verb function as psi equal to uh, e power minus r by a exponential minus r divided by a a equal to s bar square by m e square if it is a normalized verb function you will have to multiply this term by means of 1 by square root pi a cube the normalization constant that I have already mentioned to you. So you can write the verb function as say normalized form psi equal to 1 by root pi a cube e raised to minus r by a. And as you know for the ground state of hydrogen there is no question of spherical harmonic term because the verb function itself is spherically symmetrical. So variational method give an exact evaluation of the uh, work function as well as ground state energy provided you have made a selection of the work function as an exponential work function of this format. Now we will move to the case of helium atom. All this can be asked for your examinations either as problems or as per the modified syllabus this has scope for essay questions as well. So we will solve the helium atom as a case of variational method in the next video.